saw this story. Um, again, made me angry and also made me think of uh, Bible, Bible verse, Gospel, Matthew, when um, Jesus warns that uh, you lead any of my young followers to sin, it'd be better a millstone be placed around your neck. Um, a prominent doctor and trans rights advocate admitted that she deliberately, deliberately withheld publication of a $10 million taxpayer-funded, that's you and I, study on the effect of puberty blockers on American children, finding that there was no evidence that they improved the kids' mental health. This Dr. Johanna Olson Kennedy, of course her name is hyphenated, told the New York Times that she believes the study would be weaponized by critics of transgender care for kids and that the research could one day be used in court to argue we shouldn't use blockers. One of the, uh, the critics, um, again, fellow researcher, said the decision, which it does, flies in the face of research standards and deprives the public of really important science in the field. Uh, again, I'm, I'm trying to keep it together here. This is a whole nother level of evil. Whole nother level of evil. Um, they completely, completely, they, they put this study away because of politics, the politics of gay here in this country. When asked by the Times why the results have not been made public after nine years, uh, she said, I don't want our work to be weaponized. It has to be exactly on point, clear and concise. And that takes time. What? She flat out admitted she was afraid the lack of mental health improvements borne out by the study could one day be used in court to argue we shouldn't use blockers. You shouldn't use blockers. I, 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 people, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a whole, you're, you're dealing with a whole, I'm sorry, it's my opinion. I don't give a damn. It's a whole nother level of evil. And I think about this, I think about smoking. Yeah, I think about smoking. You think about uh, yeah, <laughs> Mad Men and them trying to sell cigarettes back in the day with the advertisements. Um, you mean to tell me that people didn't realize that inhaling smoke was bad for them? You mean to tell me putting kids, messing around with kids' biological functions and, and hormones and putting them on puberty blockers, you think that that's somehow a good thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go to, um, again, I'm going to go back to the little boy. I don't remember his name. I don't even know if they gave him a name in the movie. Kindergarten cop. He raises his hand. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's, it is what it is. Okay. You can, pretend you can dress a certain way you, you you're gonna you're gonna change kids you're gonna put kids on hormone blocking drugs at that age um jk rowling who's gotten a lot of flack over this the author of the harry potter novels she put out an interesting tweet i want to share um about this whole thing we must not publish a study that says we're harming children because people who say we're harming children will use the study as evidence that we're harming children, which might make it difficult for us to continue harming children. Amen. Watchdog on WallStreet.com.